Good morning. Today we are going to discuss about the requirements and security for the cryptographic hash functions. So let us see what are the security require. Let us see what are the security requirements for the cryptographic hash functions. So one is the arbitrary length message. Next one is fixed length digest. Third one is the efficiency. Wherein you are going to see that. Uh, whenever you take two different messages, you are going to get the uh, two different uh, hash codes. So it is not compulsory that if you are taking the same messages also, you may get different hash codes. So taking two images, two messages, you are going to get different hash codes. That is a weak collision resistant. Strong collision resistant is taking the same, deriving the same messages. Uh, we are going to get the same hash codes. Probability may be getting more that is strong collision resistant. So pre-image resistant. Pre-image resistant is a one-way function. So this measures how difficult to devise a message which hashes to known digest. Roughly speaking, hash functions must be the only one way. So whenever you take a message, and you apply the hash function, we are going to get a hash code. So this hash code is given to the Bob or the second end and you are going to get the message digest. So it is said to that whenever you are taking the hash code, this hash code may be not, it may not be the same hash code. So whenever you are applying the hash function to the Y, this may not be the same hash code that you are going to get. So this is nothing but the pre-image resistant. So collision in this, the given di message digest cannot find the message. So you can find the hash code but you cannot find the message. So pre-image resistant given a hash value, it is infeasible to determine the message. The concept is related to only one way function. So the, in this function, the lack of the property is vulnerable to pre-image attack. So second pre-image resistant. So why we are attacking is whenever you are doing or uh, giving a message and giving the hash code. So uh, the other person, we only know the hash code but does not know the image. So the intruder may also give some other, he may change the message and provide the hash code and taken that hash code has to be the original hash code. So like this, it may be the uh, very improbable to attack. Second one is the pre-image resistant that is weak collision resistant where you are going to see that the even the messages are same, the hash codes may not be the same. So we are going to see that the hash codes that we are going to provide may be equal. So the measure how to how difficult to devise a message which hashes to the known digest and its message. So here probable that whatever the message. So here we are taking the message then we are applying the hash function then we are going to get the hash code. Then with the message, we are also providing the hash code and we are checking the hash code with the message. So for the message, we are applying the hash code, hash function and we are changing them into the hash code and the hash code that is being retrieved, we are checking whether those both hash codes are same. If it is same, then the person is being authorized or authenticated. Otherwise, it is not been authenticated. So, likewise, we can see the uh, whether the, the, both the hash codes are same or not. So, this is nothing but pre-image resistance. So, whatever the attack was done in the previous one, which can be resistant by this using the second pre-image resistant. Coming to the uh, given an input M1, it should be difficult to find out the M2 value where M1 and M2 may not be same such that the hash function of M1 may be equal to hash function of M2. So given one message cannot find another message that has the same message digest. 
So an attack that finds the second message with the same message digest is a second pre-image attack. Then coming to the collision resistant. So collision resistant you can see whenever we are sending the message the hash functions of the message and the hash function at the receiving uh, code both should be of same. So hash function of m and m dash are equal. So the messages may not be same but hash codes are may be equal. So collision resistance is nothing. It is difficult to find two different messages m1 and m2 such that hash function of m1 is equal to hash function of m2. So here collision resistant is both the hash functions are equal and messages are may be difficult to find it may be of two different messages. So this property is certain referred as the strong collision resistance. So we can see the second pre-image resistant versus collision resistant. What is second pre-image? So given a specific message M1 cannot find another message with this hash. Then collision resistant what in, if it if we, in this we cannot find two messages that have same hashes. So one is the second pre-image one message if you have we cannot find the hash of the second one. Collision resistance is if you have two different messages and having the same hash values, you cannot find which hash to the which, which hash function.